Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. I've had a quick request here to can we automate my health and safety sign? At the moment it's just a just a joke. It does just work on a counter here. But can we automate it? All this is just using a logic writer to take the value from the dial and update it onto the display. But if I use a solar sensor to build a clock that keeps time, I can probably just do the same to count days for this one here. So we shall need a solar sensor and a reset button and an IC chip, of course. And there we have it. So we just need to hook up our daylight sensor, our reset button and our display. And we should be right to start writing some code. Okay, so here we go with the code. This is not one we can build up in a piecemeal process, so we're just going to have to go the whole hog first time up. Now, we have set our sensor button and displays, assigned them to the device pins as we did when we set the machine up. We set up our device variables, which are going to be used for the calculations during the program. They are a counter, which will count the number of days, a new angle, which is the new angle we read in a cycle of the loop, and the old angle, which is the old angle from the last cycle of the loop. Now to make this work, we're going to use the difference between these two angles. Each loop we're going to read the solar angle. Now when the solar angle is normally progressing, it will just count a small amount. It goes from 1 degree to 2 degree, 2 degree to 3 degrees. So the difference between them is very small each loop. But once the solar angle, because we're using the, the horizontal solar angle, the solar angle will count from minus 180 round to 180. And then when it goes from the next tick, it'll go from, minus, uh, from 180 to minus 180. So there will be a big difference in, in the cycles there. So if we pick up where that difference becomes large, that's the end of the day. Right, so we've got a few setups, a bit of housekeeping. We've got to move, set our counter to zero to start with. So we'll use a move command to move that value into our counter variable. So it sets it to zero. We update our display by saving that counter variable to the display. Now we move the new angle, which we haven't read yet, but we did from the last loop, into the old angle. So that remembers what it was last loop. We wait. Uh, we read the button. Let's not worry about that now. And now we put the new angle. So now we load the new angle. After we've waited, we load the new angle. So the new angle comes in, just reading it from the sensor, the horizontal angle. Although we've got it set on the wall, we're still using the horizontal angle. Now, if, now we, when we subtract those two, so the difference between them. Once again, it should be a small difference in a normal cycle, but once it gets to the end of the day, it'll be either minus 360 or 360, depending on which wall you've got it placed on. So we take the absolute value of that. So now it's always going to be positive 360. So now we're saying branch if less than. If it's less than 300, which it is most of the time, just go back to the start. Nothing more to do. If it's greater than 360, we've reached the end of the day. So we add one to the counter and we update our display and go back to the start. Right. So each, each time through, we'll just save the old angle read a new one and compare the two of them. Now the reset button we've got in here. So just after it's waited, we'll just do a check on the button. Has the button been pressed? So we load this button from the setting, the setting from the button, and place it just in a temporary variable R0. Now if R0 is equal to 1, the button has been pressed. We want to reset it. So, so just go back right to the start, back to the setup, where it sets the counter to 0, updates the display and starts the whole thing over again. So there's a bit of tricky looping in there. So I say if we get into here, the button's been pressed back to the start. If the button hasn't been pressed, we'll follow this loop through here until the end of the day. And at the end of the day, we follow the loop all the way to the bottom. And that counts as a new day. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. Confirm, export. 
You gotta switch him in. Bingo! And just wait a day and that should update. Now as we click towards midnight, will the day change over? 57, 58, midnight, and the day changes to 1. I think that looks like successful. One last test. If we activate the button, does it reset? It does. There we go. My health and safety is now automated. As I say, the sensor must be placed with the data port facing down. So that way it will change it will change from day to night whenever the sun reaches wherever that data point is pointing to. As in the middle of the night, the sun has gone overhead and is now directly on the other side of the planet, so it changes at midnight. If you had the data port pointing up, it would change at midday. Yeah, whatever works for you. Well, that was a bit of a quickie, a bit of a complicated code for a simple project. Once again, it was deciding how you get it to work, not so much developing the code, which is a real trick. Alright, yeah, that's all for today. Till next time, happy building. See ya. I was wondering why nobody built with these clacks and horns. I'm starting to find out why. <laughs>